Hey Cheese Whiz, been a couple days, been walking around here like a yard ape, I just don't, I burnt my back yesterday and it's in my lower back, it's from years ago, <sighs> being young and then I got a cold on top of it, and, uh, I didn't know my nose could have so much snot in it, I don't have, I haven't had a cold in years like this, and anyways, okay so here we are, I'm going to do a little I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do talking to you guys, but remember that preheater the other day I was doing the water pump? <sighs> yeah, bear with me in my snot nose. That's the way it goes. That's the ECU. See the greenies in there? Yeah, I think my theory is right that from the coolant pump she wicked up through that wire right into this plug which is in the ECU the output this is the outputs to all of these things and this is the main harness going to the to the to the to the to the to the, to the machine you know that there there their machine and when I opened it up hey there's antifreeze in there surprise surprise um, so and then in the illustrious fashion of today's world I'm just gonna go on a little rant in today's fine, fine world of, hey, I'm just going to make shit to throw away. I mean, I'm going to make stuff to throw away. The old uh, illustrious engineers, as we call them, in the world. You know how they are in today's world. Nobody wants to fix anything because they're just, I don't know, everybody wants everything just to just throw it away, I guess. I got the parts book open. The old ones you could replace the ECU. Took it off the top, put a new one on, away you go. Guess what you got to do with this one? The whole fan is part of it. The blower fan. So this whole block from here to here is basically junk. It kind of just, it cheeses me off. And there it is. Item one. You got to buy the whole damn thing. What's left of it? Yeah. Why don't you just you know, I don't I don't quite get it, but hang on a second. There we go. So that's what I know about that. The whole heater, is it worth it to buy that that whole end? I don't know, I haven't priced it out. But like I said, it's just typical of today's engineering in our world where everything is just throwaway. So does that mean when we're broke we just get thrown away? Just a little wine. Oh, hey, we got a little bit of a 440C with a, I had a, it was bleeding hydraulic oil in the old uh, disc to reel her up. They just weren't holding no more. They wouldn't winch up, so we're getting some new winch discs in there yonder in that thing there and then uh well maybe this will be a little shop tour it's been a while since i've done one of them come around and see me here follow me follow me would you follow me please hey guess what this puppy's all put together we had her fired up running she runs good she runs like a brand new engine should run pretty damn good um had some issues, had to order some uh, uh, air conditioning line that we forgot. Well, we didn't know that was bad until we started pulling the vacuum on it. Got that all handled. And now we've got a little bit of electrical issue in the cab. The blower doesn't want to work. So we'll attack that in the morning. And then, hey, look at this big mess back here. We got a little bit of uh, production parts going on. You know, we do everything around here just because we, I don't know, because we can. I don't, I, I don't know. My wife is actually heading up this uh, welding project. We took on it. Oh, we've done them for years and years, but never in this quantity. I can tell you that I, I know our economy in the United States of America is picking up. 
Why? Because I got a, usually I would do maybe 500 of those parts. 8,000! 8, 8,000! And there's one part on each piece of equipment that's built. One of those parts. That means somebody is spending enough to build 8,000 of these pieces of equipment right here in the United States. So anybody watching this doesn't think, you know, our economy's starting to go, 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 go? Yeah. We haven't seen that in eight years, nine years, that kind of volume. So I think that's a tale of uh, what our economy is doing right now in the, in the States as far as manufacturing goes. We'll see about the rest of it, but it's nice. And my wife decided she was going to spearhead that, and, and she's going to do all the work, and she's doing it, and I'm helping her just fine-tune her welding, and, and she's doing an awesome job. I couldn't ask for a better worker because she puts her head down underneath the helmet and go, 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 go. So she's kicking them out. Things are moving right along. We're having a good time, and breakup is right around the corner. I've got guys uh, actually starting to talk about things they need done when uh, the thaw comes. So we're working on doing some pricing and that kind of stuff and getting things going and getting ready for the rush. Usually there's a push. Get machines in and out before, well, while the ground is soft. So, all right, thanks for coming along again and listen to me rant. And I didn't sneeze once, not once. Feels like I'm ready to, so I'm gonna cut you off. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you are watching and you follow this, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your ex-wives, tell your boyfriends, tell your girlfriends. Subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. Things are moving along pretty good and I really, really appreciate it and uh, it's all I can ask for. Okay, over and out.